and welcome, I'm your Code Monkey. Spring is here and that means it's time for the Spring Sale. The Asset Store has a bunch of the top rated assets at 50% off and then there's a bunch more flash deals at 70% off. This video is sponsored by Unity so let's check out some highlights. Starting off with the top rated assets, pretty much all of these are guaranteed to be excellent. For example, the A-Star Pathfinding Project Pro. If your game needs pathfinding of any kind, then this one is a must-have. You can pathfind with hundreds or thousands of units, even in maps that are very dynamic, very changing, and the whole thing runs insanely fast. I made an asset review on this one if you want to learn more about it. Another one I always highly recommend is Feel. This is a really awesome tool to help your games feel really awesome. You can very easily add all kinds of polish that takes your game from boring to really impressive. It's really easy to use, just add some components, modify some fields, and you get everything exactly as you want it. I also have an asset review on this one, it is a really awesome asset. Another really excellent one is here, the Tax Animator. If you have tax of any kind in your game, which chances are you do, if so, then this one helps you massively polish that in a really, really easy way. The amount of effects that you can add is truly impressive, and again, you can add all of these effects to just certain parts of your text, it doesn't have to be the entire text object. You can combine all kinds of effects and make it look really cool and really easy to use. If you've got 2D sprites in your game, then the all-in-one sprite shader is definitely a must-have. This one, again, also super easy to use, also super powerful. With just one click, you can add all kinds of effects to your sprites. You can play around with all of them in various ways. You can make it as simple or as complex as you want it. And the amount of effects you can make is truly insane. So yep, this is another one that I also reviewed, also really excellent. If you want to make your game look gorgeous, then bake lighting is the way to go. And for that, Bakery is the recommended tool to use. It bakes some very, very high quality lighting on pretty much any scene you want, so your games can look really impressive, even on low-end devices. This is one that I've never actually used myself, but it has been used in some very successful games, some gorgeous games like Call of Duty Mobile. Again, this high quality lighting in a mobile game, that is very impressive. It's also been used by Totally Accurate Battle Simulator and a bunch more really impressive games. If you want to edit animations directly inside Unity, then Umotion is a really great asset. This is absolutely excellent for whenever you have some kind of small things that you want to edit directly inside Unity, or you can actually just use this for all of your animations. But me personally, since I'm not an animator, usually I just buy asset packs for all kinds of animations, and then I use Umotion if I need to modify those animations in any way. This is definitely one of those tools that, even for simple use cases, it is absolutely worth it. One relatively recent tool that I highly recommend is the Asset Inventory. This is basically a giant library for all of your assets, meaning you've got a nice search bar and you can search for anything, like let's say search for swords, and it will search through all of your asset packs, all of the, let's say, hundreds of assets that you've already bought. It will search inside all of those and give you just those swords. Then you can press a button and import literally just that one model and nothing else. So you don't have to import the entire package into your project every time. You can import literally just one individual thing. This one has one awesome feature, which is how it can actually import Unity packages from external, so outside of the asset store. Me personally, I buy quite a lot of assets from Humble Bundles, and those don't show up on the package manager by default, but you can import them into this, and again, do the same thing, search inside of it, so super, super useful. Another super useful one that I've recommended several times is the Quantum Console. This is basically an in-game console, so you can very easily just add an attribute to any of your functions, any of your fields, and so on, and then through this really nice in-game console, you can modify those, you can call those functions, you can do all kinds of things. So this is really awesome for playtesting, for trying out different scenarios. You don't have to constantly recompile your game every time. You can just open up the console, modify a bunch of things, and yep, it is super useful, super handy, and the console also shows the logs. In order to use, you'll literally just drag and drop the console and add the attribute to any of the fields, any of the functions, and everything works automatically. This is another one where I've also done an asset review on it. I really like this one, really useful tool. If you want to make your games feel quite a bit more realistic, quite a bit more smooth, then adding something like this, some nice IK on the legs, is really awesome. It is one of those relatively tiny things that really make your game feel much more grounded. This legs animator is really excellent. It works with pretty much any kind of legs and makes the whole thing feel much, much more natural. Feels like the characters actually belong in the world. If your game involves ropes of any kind, then you can either build it yourself, which usually takes quite a lot of effort because this has quite a lot of edge cases, or you can just buy an asset kind of like this one, it is really impressive, really physically accurate, the whole thing is really nice and dynamic. Honestly, this is one of those systems that I've long wanted to make myself from scratch just as a nice research project, but if you just want something that works, then picking up something like this can save you a ton of time. Or maybe you're making some kind of RPG, if so, you need some kind of quest, and if you don't want to build that yourself, if so, then you can use something like this, the quest machine. It's a fully featured quest system with lots of interesting editor windows to make it really easy to set up and build all your quests. In order to make your game stand out, then adding some post-processing is definitely going to be a huge help. And for that, you can use something like this, Beautify 3. This helps you take your game, the exact same game, and take it from somewhat boring to really awesome. Again, definitely do not neglect the importance of high-quality lighting and post-processing. 
you can take the exact same assets and make them look drastically different. So if you want your game to look good, definitely look into one of these assets. And if you want your game to have a nice cell shade and look, then this tune shader looks really great. If you had all kinds of options to get exactly the look that you want, you can play around with so many settings. Or for something more code-based, look into Hot Reload. This one basically lets you hot reload your code, meaning you can actually modify changes while the game is playing, and then toast those changes without having to recompile. One comment that I get quite a lot is how do I speed up compilation? And one of the ways to do that is using some like assembly definitions that allows you to split your code into multiple pieces, but this is another very nice option. You can use this and basically edit your code exactly as the game is running. No need to stop, compile, recompile. You can test things, you can keep writing things. This is one of those things that can massively help speed up your iteration speed. And if you're looking into AI, then maybe try out this tool. I have not used this myself, so I have no idea just how good this is. But based on the screenshot, it does seem to have quite a lot of features. And based on reviews, it actually has quite a lot of 5-star reviews. So if you want to explore if AI can help you in your development process, if so, then perhaps a tool like this for just 15 bucks, perhaps this can be a nice help. Then for some visuals, there's also quite a lot of stuff. There's this really cool cartoon VFX pack. Lots of synthy stuff is on sale, like this really awesome dark fantasy pack. This would be great for some kind of Lord of the Rings or Diablo-inspired game. This low-poly ultimate pack, this is a genuinely insane pack. The amount of assets inside of it is truly mind-boggling. So if you don't have any pack that has really tons of stuff, if so, you can pick up this one and make pretty much endless games with all the assets directly inside this one pack. If you want some animations, then this basic locomotion pack is a great starting point. Alternatively, if you're more into the realistic look, there's a bunch of gorgeous environments, specifically from Nature Manufacture. Changing the skybox is one of the easiest ways to completely drastically change how your game looks. So a pack like this, with hundreds of skybox for just 10 bucks, is definitely very useful to have. If you want to make pretty much infinite amount of characters and a pack like this, a modular pack, this is a huge help. You can combine that with my character customization system tutorial. You can use those assets in this tutorial. And all of a sudden you have infinite characters for your game. And of course, so far I've been covering the 50% off deals, but there's obviously the 70% daily flash deals. These last for just one day, so if you find them interesting, definitely make sure you get them quickly. By the time this video is live, these will be available. For example, Megafires, this is a great one for taking your meshes and modifying them in all sorts of interesting ways. This one means you can get quite a lot of variation, quite a lot of different visuals from just the same mesh. And at 70% off, this is going to be extremely cheap. This retro look asset also looks really interesting. If your game is, let's say, some kind of horror game that is meant to have a CRT effect, then this would definitely look perfect. In one day, you will have the Polygon Gang Warfare pack, so this one will be for just like 7 bucks or something like that. If you want to make some kind of shady simulator game, then this would be a great starting point. Also, another super useful tool starting in one day is this one over here. It's an export to and from Unreal, so if you sometimes, like me, buy some Humble Bundles that have some Unreal assets, if so, you can use a tool like this one in order to basically convert them and use them directly inside Unity. Then in two days, if you're making a spaceship game, then using a spaceship creator kind of like this one can pretty much be used to make any kind of spaceship you want for your entire game. So just one asset and you build hundreds or thousands or millions of spaceships. The Synthi Simple Bundle Collection is a really awesome pack of thousands of assets, all in a really nice, extremely low poly style. And at 70% off, this one becomes super cheap. If you want to make a farming game prototype, then starting off from this farming engine could be a great way. You could very quickly build a nice prototype and then basically rebuild it yourself once you know exactly the kind of game you're going for. Again, at 70% off in 3 days, this won't be extremely cheap. Or also in 3 days, add some nice cloth to your games. This is one of those things that makes your game feel so much more alive because everything reacts the same way that normal physics would react. Alternatively, if you want to make an FPS, then picking up a character controller just like this one would be a huge time saver. This one is made by Opsiv, one of the top asset developers on the store. And again, for 70% off in 4 days, this will definitely be a great deal. Then in 5 days, you've got a gorgeous spells pack with tons of really nice spells. In 5 days, you also got this one, a real-time voxel global illumination system. Really cool, really awesome. In 6 days, you've got this nice dogs pack. So if you're making some kind of dog shelter game or really just need some companions for any kind of game, then here's great. In 7 days, you've got a volumetric VFX modeling tool. This one makes some really strange meshes. The whole thing looks very weird, which again is awesome for helping your game stand out. Then in 8 days, you've got the all-in-one Springs Toolkit. Adding some springs to pretty much any kind of action, any kind of animation, always makes it feel much more realistic, much more satisfying. Again, as opposed to something that just moves. And this one is by the same developer as the all-in-one Sprite Shader. So this is a very easy-to-use tool, and the results are really excellent. In 10 days, you've got Motocross Physics. I remember playing a motocross game when I was a kid. I don't remember what was the name, but it was really fun to jump around, do all sorts of tricks. So if you want to make a game kind of like that one, then this would be really awesome. I really love this first person look. If you want some really impressive ray marching tech, then in 11 days you've got this pack. Again, this video looks super cool, super awesome. Ray marching is a fascinating technique. 
or in 12 days if you want to make your own mech warrior kind of game or some kind of kaiju versus mech game then picking up this pack by synthi studios would be excellent so you have tons of stuff on the spring sale happening right now you've got the top passes at 50 percent off and then you've got daily flash deals every single day new deals all of them 70 percent extremely deep discount so yep, check out everything on sale with the links in the description. Those are filmed links, meaning if you pick up anything through there, you get some awesome assets and I get a nice commission. Alright, so thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.